So today on our Sports File, we're going to be talking about uh, a very talented young player who came out of the Bowling Green State University program to be drafted by the Montreal Canadiens and Cleveland Crusaders in the 74 entry drafts for the NHL and WHA, respectively. 5'11", 170, again, the John Stewart that was born January 2nd, 1954. Uh, so not to confuse people, there's been uh, uh, a few John Stewart's athletes and entertainers over the years. Now this John Stewart again, uh, born in the uh, very, very uh, interesting, excuse me, uh, hometown was a very interesting Don Mills, Ontario, which we've talked about before. Very, very well-respected young uh, skater when he started. He uh, played in Markham the Junior B program before Bowling Green brought him in uh, to uh, guide their hockey program. Uh, on the offense, he had 51 points in his first season in 1973, with 70 points in his draft year and 39 games in 74 with 27 uh, games. Now, he was named CCHA All-Star Second Team in 74, and he got a CCHA All-Star Honorable Mention in 72-73, and of course, he was captain of his marketing team in 72. Now, he only played two games in the NHL despite playing several years in the WHA and minor pro before he made uh, the big club. Now, he played with the Cape Codders of the NAHL in 75, but decided to sign with the WHA, played with the Crusaders in his rookie campaign with 11 points in 59 games. 76, he is 60 split time between Cleveland uh, of the WHA, of course, and Syracuse of the NHL. Now, Syracuse, he had 21, 28 points in 23 games. Now, the breakout year for him was 1977, where he had 41 points in 52 games, including 17 goals. And get this, ladies and gentlemen, 54 points in 18 games with the Blazers that year. 78, he played with the Firebirds for 24 games and uh, had uh, f- uh, 48 contests with Birmingham with 39, goal, 39 points and 13 goals. Now, his career season in, in the WHA came in 79 when he had 50 points in 70 uh, games, including 24 goals. Now, 79-80, he, only played his, he played his only two games in the NHL with Quebec and spent most of the season with the Firebirds with 68 points in 71 uh, games. 81, he found himself with the CHL version of the Bulls, putting up 55 points in 57 games and also had... Uh, 20 points with the Binghamton Whalers of the AHL with 10 goals and 10 assists for 20 points. Now he wrapped up his minor major league career with the Berlin SC of the Bundesliga with 29 points in 35 games in 1982. Now he was in the Hartford uh, system for a short while after signing with Calgary as a free agent in August 80 but never played for the Flames. Now, Calgary trained him to Hartford for future considerations, but again, then again, never made Hartford's NHL uh, team. Now, uh, he also played 18 games for Syracuse, a uh, squad that won the NAHL regular season and playoff titles, but was not uh, with the team during the postseason. Now, he tied an NHL record, NAHL record by scoring six goals in a game for Syracuse versus Maine on November 17th, 1976. Now, he skated in the Minnesota organization when the team folded on January 17, 77, became a free agent, again uh, signed with Birmingham. He played on Birmingham's uh, squad that folded after the 79 season and was selected by Quebec in the WHA dispersal draft on June 9, 1979. Now, again, he was also on the Birmingham CHL team that folded on February 24, 1981. Now, during his playing years, uh, before, uh, just to get away from the, the confusion, his full name is John Christopher Stewart, so he's also known as J.C. Stewart and John C. Stewart during his playing days. And, of course, he's the uncle of former NHL player uh, Tom McCarthy. Now, because Stewart never signed with Montreal, again, jump with the WHA with Cleveland, he, uh, but Montreal chose not to take him back in the NHL reclaimed draft on June 9, 79, and he remained property of Quebec, who had uh, signed him uh, previously. Now, um, 
The dispersal uh, draft uh, for Birmingham included Stewart. Again, Quebec drafted him off the Birmingham list. Montreal had his rights, and he drafted, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the ability to draft him off Birmingham allowed him to retain his rights unless Montreal took him back, and that's not what happened. But again, playing two games in the NHL, uh, but after a, a good, solid career with the, the WHA. Now, what was interesting too, ladies and gentlemen, he played an undergraduate of the Quebec International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament, played there in 1966 with the vaunted Toronto Red Wings minor hockey squad, a very, very good Pee Wee team of that era. So again, that's the story of John Stewart or J.C. Stewart. Thanks for listening. Bye.